Hey everybody, today I'm going to be trying a new bait to catch some salmon. I've got the Brad's Super Baits. I haven't tried one of these before, so I've got one rigged up right now. Might throw a strip of herring on there to start. I've been doing really well with the cut plugs and I thought I'd give these Super Baits a try. Usually I wouldn't do it this way. Usually I'd put on a lure that I'm very confident in and then try something new, but the salmon's been pretty thick out here, so I'm just gonna go for it. If I don't get anything, I'll switch up to the cut plug and uh, see if I can't get anything with that. I've been doing really well at Jeff Head, so I came out here again. I'm gonna give it a go. I'm Brett, and this is Peeling Line. So here's a close-up look of the bait. Much like the regular brads, there's a um, rubber band that holds it together. And inside, there's your sponge. But I'm gonna take that out. And I'm gonna put a strip of salted herring in the inside. Yellowtail rockfish. Oh, damn, that was a red stripe. Damn, I thought that was a brown rockfish, but it was actually a red striped rockfish. And I've never caught one of those, so I'm kind of choked. I didn't get a picture, but uh, that's okay. I've gotten two the last, well, two have been caught on the boat the last two times, so. I'm hoping to get one soon for my life list. We'll see. But uh, pretty sure it's over 22. Looks like 26. Nice fat one. All right, I'm just gonna bop it and uh, lead it. Well, here it is. Nice fat salmon. Go fill out the catch card while the heat bleeds out. Then I'll try and get a coho. So I got that king on the right on the horn there. It was at 130 feet on the wire and in 155 feet of water. I wasn't really marking any fish over there, um, but I was, truth be told, I was actually trying to get that red striped rockfish. Although you're not supposed to fish for them, but 
But yeah, I need one for my life list. So yeah, I got the king. Um, looks like a nice fatty. Maybe I'll weigh him up. And uh, just need the coho now. So far the lure's working out really well. And I'm pairing it up with the green hornet flasher. This is pretty socked in. There we go. Nice king, decent coho, um, good eating all around. But yeah, that'll do it for me. Okay, so uh, that's it for me. I mean, uh, got my king, got my coho. It's 11 o'clock, gonna head back. Not the biggest coho, but uh, hey, whatever, I'll take it. Um, but this lure is uh, really good, actually. I think I might like it better than the Brad's cut plug. It catches everything out there. There were a lot of shakers. So the Brad's cut plug, I only get basically the fish I want. Not too many sharks, not too many uh, shakers or anything. But this one just catch, catches pretty much everything down there. I lost something huge on it too. I thought it was snagged up, but it was, it was a pretty big fish. So yeah, I'm gonna use these a lot more. They're about the same price as Brad's cut plugs. Not too much difference there, but uh, maybe it's another tool. Throw it in the arsenal, you know? I'm pretty happy with today. And the lure, I highly recommend it. Uh, go try them out for yourself. <laughs>